excellent as always, Jenny. Hello. I'm a music lover and I'm worried about your cello. Jump in. <laughs> If I go to university, I'm going to read what I want and listen to what I want. Which university? Oxford. Did you go anywhere? I study what I believe they call the University of Life. It was funny and sad, and that mix, actually, you don't get too often. So there was that, first of all. Um, I thought it took the teenage girls seriously, and it was a, quite a complicated and rounded portrait of a, of a very bright girl who doesn't have life experience but has a hunger. Um, so, so there was that, um, and it, it was about a time that we don't talk about too often, which was the 1960s, before the 1960s happened. Hello. You have no idea how boring everything was before I met you. I think that both versions of education that she's being offered um, are not adequate. There's the rather sort of spirit-crushing mainstream school version of education, and then there's this glamorous but actually... Um, perhaps dangerous version that she's being offered by the Peter Sarsgaard character. All that poetry and all those songs about something that lasts no time at all. I think Olivia Williams is the one who tries to teach her to love this stuff for its own sake rather than for what it's going to bring you. You can do anything you want, you know that. I don't think I could give books up, um, not least because it's, it's just a less complicated process. Um, it's quite sort of straightforward. You write a book, you know, at this stage in my career I write a book and it gets published, whereas films are sort of always on the verge of collapse. But um, I really like having colleagues and obviously that's something that's missing in my day job. I feel old, but not very wise. Now that shows you're a rebel. They don't want that at Oxford. No, they don't want people who can think for themselves. Oh, of course they don't. 